One of my all-time favorite Christmas stories is The Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And I wanted to celebrate the season by painting a very special scene from this beloved story. Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you're enjoying this season of lights. I grew up watching The Christmas Carol, whether it was the live action version with Darcy Scott or the Disney version with Mickey as Cratchit. And of course, the Muppet Christmas Carol, which is probably the best one of all time. So each year we gather around the TV and watch one of the versions of the Christmas Carol. And this year, a new version came out on Netflix. And I wanted to celebrate uh, and kind of join in with the fun by creating my own painting of Scrooge and Tiny Tim. What's really fun about this painting is that I am going to be giving it away for my second annual Christmas basket giveaway. And so someone's gonna get this painting, original painting for free to hang on their wall during the Christmas season for years to come. And so if you're interested in owning this painting, make sure to sign up at the link below. Growing up, I just like any other kid, I used to love Christmas. I used to love opening up presents, the excitement about it, the lights, the tree. I just loved Christmas. And as I get older, I'm starting to realize that I like Christmas for new and exciting reasons. Christmas is warmth and light and a time to be with family and to remember what we have and what we've been given. And ultimately, I think that Linus from the Charlie Brown Christmas puts it best when he says he recites the basic, the meaning of Christmas, the gospel in just a few lines and it's perfect. There were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, an angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which should be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And he shall be a sign unto you, you find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel of multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill towards men. I just love the simplicity of how that was put. What a great movie. <laughs> and if you haven't watched A Charlie Brown Christmas, make sure to do that uh, this year. You know, we all have some sort of tradition or things that we look forward to during Christmas. And whether that's, you know, putting up a tree, hanging lights, singing Christmas carols, certain foods. For me, I love gingerbread and sausage rolls and the, the Christmas dinner. And yet we all have something that's in common with Christmas and that's the reason for it and, and why we have hope. And Linus just puts it there so perfectly saying, this is the meaning of Christmas because they were really confused when they were saying, you know, in that movie. And what's great about the Christmas Carol is that Scrooge is learning about what love really means. And love is thinking about other people. Love is thinking about those who are less fortunate than yourself. The reason I chose this moment when Scrooge is holding Tiny Tim is because it represents the moment in the story where Scrooge learns what love is. And he's experiencing love through the eyes of a small child where he can then learn to love his family, those around him and his community. So as Tiny Tim once said, God bless us all, everyone. Well, there you go. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the making of Scrooge and Tiny Tim. This is a really special moment for me as it connects with the heart of this story. And my hope is that it will bring some joy to you during this Christmas season. So if you enjoyed this video today, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get more content just like this. The Christmas story is really about redemption and the idea that if you just simply turn around, you can begin again. 
light always casts out the darkness. I really hope that this Christmas season you draw close to your loved ones and to kind of embrace what Christmas really means. And light came into this world so that we can have hope. So remember that you are valuable and that you are absolutely loved. Merry Christmas. We'll see you next time.